Okay, I'm timing this one for us. We are going to make, oh my gosh, this is truly one of my favorite spoon breads of all time. So we've got leeks, and we've used leeks before. And what we want to do is want to peel off this, this outside -y one, right? We're not really going to use this top part. We're going to trim that part off and just use this nice part. But see how this is like kind of a yucky? Oh, 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 right? Um, do you remember how we get rid of the dirt in there? So we are going to do leeks. So I'm going to use three. You can, you can use more. You absolutely could use more. But I just want to get a little bit of leek flavor. Oh, this one is kind of hard and yucky, so I'm going to take that off. Okay. So then what we do right slice it down the middle and then you've got to rinse it out see the dirt right so we've got to rinse that dirt out and then we're gonna slice them into little half moons we also need to trim the mushrooms so we cut off just the little end part and then we've done it before together I use my little egg slicer that I have never once used for eggs, and I slice up my mushrooms. Good? So let me clean these up, chop those. It's going to be great. Now I've just got to saute these. So I put the leeks in first, just for about two to three minutes, and then I added the mushrooms with a little bit of salt and pepper just until these mushrooms are going to get nice and tender and then I'm going to set aside and work on the liquid. My kitchen smells fantastic right now and I love it. So what I'm going to do next is just do three eggs and some, well, you could just, I, if I had ripple, I would use ripple right now or oat milk. Um, I don't have that. Donovan's looking for some almond milk for me outside. The un, un, sweetened one right just plain but I do have a little bit of cream so I'm gonna do half cream and half almond milk and then I need to add my cheese but let's see oh thank you Donovan brought me some almond milk you're like almond milk and that yes it's fine don't be alarmed it's great it does look a little gray I'm okay. Let's get some salt and pepper in here. Ooh, you know what? Let me grab some thyme. So I added my thyme, some salt, and pepper. And then this is the crazy part. Okay. We're 10 minutes in. We're doing great. I've got all my bread here. You see this? Now, what I have to do when I have a loaf of bread at my house. Um, and I want it to like last to do this. I had to cut it up into cubes and put it in this giant bowl and then hide it in, in, the, in the, like the cupboard because they couldn't see the top. So they couldn't see that there was bread chunks in there. So I've got all of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this over the top. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Then the fold my mushroom leaky business in here. It's okay if it doesn't get every single piece because guess what, I'm gonna put it back into here. Okay, oh, these smells, friends. And I see you eyeing my cheese over there. Now, I'm using Grie, but if you have a strong affinity for a certain kind of cheese and you're like, oh, I just need more of this cheese in my life, you know what? I encourage you to do that. So here we go. Then all I've got to do is put this back into my pan, my casserole dish. Please don't prepare this dish. It's, it's got enough business in here. And then we're gonna bake it. Oh my gosh. So again, if you want more leeks, more mushrooms, please do it. If you want more bread, please do that. This, oh, but, but you've got to get all of these little bits out. You see it? It's so pretty. The green, green leeks. You know, mushrooms aren't that pretty. 
Sorry, I said it. They're not that pretty. Um, but when we get the leaves in there, oh my gosh. I'm just going to use my hands. So we do this, and maybe you want a little bit more cheese on top. Like, you do it. I've let it cool for a little bit because I do not want to burn my mouth. But this, it's so just like herby. You know what I'm talking about? Like super... It's the mushrooms. It's so, they're just so great. You know, this was a sourdough loaf. And I do very much enjoy sourdough. But maybe if you're not into sourdough, that's okay. You can do something different. I forgot to tell you, this is from Real Simple, this recipe. And I, I think it's at least five years old. But it is absolutely perfect in every way. I love it. I love you. I think you should make this. If you had this and if you had this and the spinach artichoke brie one that we made. Why would you even need turkey? You don't. Nobody needs turkey. All of this other stuff is so much better. Okay. I gotta go now because I'm I don't think they know it's out of the oven yet, so I need to get to work on this. Have a great day.